So, whereas Crossfire, I think it came down to more of a personal preference, whether you preferred it in Half-Life or Opposing Force. It was about equal to its original incarnation, considering the, how they switched the weapons around. I'm going to say Frenzy actually was a net gain. I feel the additions and changes made to this map actually made it even better. Um, especially with, like, things like the Spore Launcher and, like, you know, the Shock Gross being, like, you know, faster than, like, you know... Just feeling more chaotic than some of the original Half-Life weapons... I feel it makes Frenzy even more of a, you know, Frenzy. Alright, good. We're starting down here. So, if you start down here, immediately turn around and grab the wrench. I don't know why they just didn't give that to you. Like, you spawn on it. That would have been nice, but oh well. That's a minor, minor shit pick. So yeah, as you can see right away, uh, this middle area has the freaking machine gun in it. So that's cool. You know, immediately, that's what I mean. It's just, it's like, they took what was already a really tight map and just made it even more intense. Uh, nothing in that little spawn area here, but a lot of these, like, little spawn area nooks got stuff in them. But that was probably the case in the original, too. Grab a deagle and, you know, a useless shock roach, because without water, why would you ever want to use this? You know, besides using it, you know, to conserve ammo, and, like, you know, it's generally pretty damaging. But, you know, I just have to go all or nothing, because I'm a weirdo like that. Uh, we'll talk about that room in a bit. That's where you get the spore launcher. But first, come over here, grab another wrench, grab another shotgun. Um, always a good time. As you can hear, there's a barnacle in this map, although there really isn't much... They didn't really add much use for it, except for this area here. I know you can get up here, of course. You know, I don't even need to show that. You can just kind of go without saying. Um, you grab the uh, sniper rifle there, too, but we'll talk more about that later. There is another really interesting spot you can use it, though, which I can't show now because Spy there had to be a dickhole and kill me. So, yeah, fuck that guy. Um, let's go to the spore room now because my, my train of thought has been interrupted. You can also grab an SMG here and some AR grenades, so it's not just the spore room. Um, I feel that spores are kind of underplaced in this particular batch of, like, Half-Life maps. Like, there's just not as many as, like, remember in Boot Camp, that one room, like, that one area brought in a ton of them? Yeah, there's nothing like that in that this version of this map, so that kind of sucks. Anyway, um, that's about it for the bottom part here. Um, you can grab the satchel here, and I think in another one I've walked over, like, this little spawn area of nooks, you can grab some grenades, so that's a fun time guaranteed for all. This is where you get the shotgun, not the, uh, sniper. I, I, I can never remember which particular window it is, but yeah, there you go, grab that. Doors are still here. I don't know why there's doors are there, but the doors are there. I don't remember the gauze being here, and this is actually nice, because it makes it easier to jump around. Which, I, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll peep that out in a second. Uh, come this way. And this is, this side is where you get the, uh, sniper rifle, which even in a much smaller map like this is going to be really dangerous. Because remember, that thing does, like, pretty much insta-kill damage, unless you have any sort of battery. And it, considering the fact that they put, um, a spore here, uh, means that they want you to grab the barnacle and, like, you know, go there pretty much at any point. So now that we're back on this side, let's come up here real quick so you can get the long jump. Again, I don't know if you can actually get over here without, like, using the gauze jump. But yeah, if you do get over here and fuck it up... If you were to go up there and not mess up, you can get the, uh, machine gun, of course. And here you go. This is another use of the spore launcher, so you can actually, like, you know, grapple up here. That's nice. I would have put it here, so you can actually have an easier time getting to the, uh, long jump or whatever. That's fine. Get up here, and I don't recall there being a ton of, like, you know, supplies up here in the original Half-Life version. So this might be a new addition. Um, and I, I do believe that they actually added on, like, you know, batteries and stuff. Uh, maybe not on this side, but I swear on the other side, or at least one of these sides, there is, like, grenade or something on these, like, suspended light things. So that's pretty happening. I like that they did that. Um, let's go back this way while my mouse acts up a little bit again, because it always got to do that. Um, I don't believe that there's any way to, uh, gra where to grapple up on this side here. Yeah, I ain't seen it, but there's totally, totally stuff up there if my mouse would stop being a piece of shit. Yeah, here you go. See? You get the battery up here. And I believe that there are some, uh... No, it's a medkit, I think. Yes, yeah, it's a medkit. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, there's stuff up here. I mean, this is kind of like a hidden, like, afterthought kind of area in the original version. But now it's more... More a fundamental part of the level. I swear, to that it's where the displacer is hidden up there somewhere. But I might be wrong. I'll have to double check. But I swear that there's a displacer in this map. Now, there is one cool thing. Um, if you remember, there's a hole here. Well, this is how you can get up here really fast now. By using the barnacles, that's fucking awesome. Um, and obviously, too, you can take the ladder up here if you really wanted, but who ladders are for losers, climbing, stuff like that. That takes effort. Uh, there's some nice supplies up here, stuff like that. Rocket launcher is still here, of course. So I am almost 100... Oh, yeah, and a knife. That's always there. It's there. It's fine. Um, I swear there's a displacer in this map, though. 
Uh, let, let's get back up there real quick. Turn the night vision goggles on. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, they totally took advantage of this little upper area here. And that's where they hid the uh, displacer. And that's cool. Everyone likes the displacer. I like displacers. Do you like displacers? I like displacers. You know, I kind of, you know, considering that they went through the effort, though, of putting this up here and a whole bunch of other supplies, you really do, I kind of wish that they would have put, like, a barnacle, like, or a spore spot or something. It feels like a missed opportunity. And again, that's something I think I said in the Crossfire video. I feel... Or maybe I didn't really make obvious, but I feel a lot of the, uh... Um, like, you know, the, uh... Like, adding in the barnacle that was kind of underwhelming. Like, they didn't really take full advantage of it by adding in, like, you know... More spore spots, or, you know, even the, um... Kind of, what's it called? The moss? That, you know, they add into these maps? You know what I mean. Uh, what is it called? The, uh... They call it the Race X Moss, moss you know. I, I think I would have added some more of that in. It could have been that hard, considering you had the original map files. It, like, you know, doing the kind of brushwork required for, uh, you know, that addition couldn't have been that hard. Like, you know, to be fair, I'm not the most absolute, uh, like, you know, amazing expert of gold source mapping that ever existed, but I have done a little bit. I can't, I can tell you it's not that, uh, that hard to add in brushes. Oh well. But considering how weird these additions are, like, they all, like, you know, map comes out end of November, and then, like, halfway through December, you add all these, like, you know, like, maps in, kind of, like, you know, almost unceremoniously, like, unceremoniously. Um, it makes me feel that they wanted these in from the beginning, but they ran out of time. I, I want to feel, feel that's probably the case. So, you know, these are probably just, like, you know, almost done kind of sitting there, and they're just like, well, you know, they're there, might as well finish them now. You know, that's the vibe I get, but I, I'm probably entirely wrong. I mean, I, I really do mean it when I've never played any of these before. Like, on a, like you know, that's how I was ever playing Opposing Force as much as regular Half-Life Deathmatch or even, like, Team Fortress Classic. You know, I played it a few times with, like, real people, of course. And, like, these never showed up. It was always, like, you know, it was, like, boot camp. And I have played Crossfire at least once. Usually custom map, honestly. That's what we usually ended up playing. So, you know, no, I think maybe people just didn't even, aren't even aware these existed. Like, it's, it's just strange, considering how, like, little, how hard it was to find a fucking download for these. I'm freaking stunned. So yeah, that's, um, Crossfire, I mean, sorry, that's Frenzy Opposing Force. It's even better in here, play it. 